Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After a dramatic weight loss, Michael T. Brown flaunts her skinnier than ever figure in skin tight trousers and a white top. Since the arrival of her twin sons, Ace and Archer, last winter, the reality TV star has been losing weight. Over the weekend, Michael T. uploaded a video to her Instagram account. The celebrity was dressed in tight blue denim pants. Her slender arms were flaunted in a fitting white t-shirt that completed the ensemble. Michael T. had long red hair that cascaded over her shoulder with a soft style Michael T. demonstrated an orange drink to the camera in the video before taking a large sip. She appeared to be in her Utah home's living room, which she shares with her spouse Tony. Hey buddies, how come February has already arrived? I need all the energy I can get as a busy mom, she wrote as the post's caption. For this reason, I vouch for my daily dose of pure, wholesome vitality. She said, message me right now to get yours if you need to pick me up. After giving birth to her twin sons in November 2022, Christine Brown's daughter shed roughly 75 pounds. In an earlier Instagram post, Michael T. bragged about how much she had slimmed down, I feel like a new person. I have a hunger for life that I have never known. What a wonderful life this is. I can't believe how much I've changed in the previous few years. My general health has improved and I've been eating better than ever. Michael T. was suspected by some of using Ozempic. Many celebrities who want to lose weight have utilized the contentious medication. The mother of three, however, adamantly stated that she has not been using the substance. I'm not. I am jogging around with three kids and taking a supplement drink, she wrote in response to an internet fan. Following complaints from followers that the celebrity was going too far with her weight loss, Michael T. shared her most recent photo, the celebrity shared a video of herself and her spouse working out on social media. The mother of three displayed her powerful arms to the camera while sporting a black blouse that was too big on her and had the sleeves pulled up. On a well-known Sister Wives Reddit forum, viewers reshared the video and commented that Michael T. appeared excessively skinny, what causes these girls to shed their excess weight and then continue to drop it? Another person said, I hope she starts maintaining instead of continuing to lose. They're both getting smaller. I hope they continue to be healthy, another person wrote. A third person commented, Michael T. looks really ill in this picture. She does have that nice home gym, so I'm sure that helped, another replied. Mary Brown disappears during the media beating of the new boyfriend. Although Mary Brown of Sister Wives proudly introduced the world to her new partner, Amos Andrews, she appears to be missing since then. Her new habits have her fans worried, and they are even skipping her live streams. A Sister Wives fan on Reddit made a comment regarding Mary Brown's apparent lack of activity. One commenter questioned, have you guys noticed that Mary has gone silent since the boyfriend news broke while they talked about her location? The past two Fridays, she hasn't done a Friday with friends, and in the interim, she hasn't shared much on social media. What relevance does that seem to have? Other Sister Wives fans responded to the original Reddit post with their opinions about Mary Brown. Some were certain it had to do with the flurry of press the couple faced following their announcement. Can you blame her? One asks. When she begins dating, others on social media begin to take pictures of them in public, and tabloids begin to go through trash to pay off their bitter ex-boyfriends and dox the guy. She is then subjected to further abuse from tabloid newspapers, social media activists, and YouTubers for having the audacity to date someone who isn't some heroic Mr. Perfect, all the while having the catfisher and being too simple-minded to date brought up. She is accused of being phony and ugly, of stealing Christine's thunder, and of desiring attention. Her date is labeled an attention seeker and a deadbeat, and is accused of being Cody's long-lost twin, an evil creature who would undoubtedly mistreat and take advantage of Mary. And you genuinely want to know why Mary stopped talking? I hope Mary is wise enough to avoid tabloids, TLC, crazy trolls, social media, and her relationship and love life. Maybe she wants to be less visible on social media because she doesn't like everything that the tabloids are saying about her partner. I can't say that I blame her. After that, viewers of Sister Wives talk about the nightmare of going public, with some questioning her choice to expose Amos Andrews. I'm wondering why in the world she would present him to the world after reading your piece. 
If Janelle finds a boyfriend, I believe it would be best to keep their future relationships private as well. It could be wiser for these girls to hold off on introducing them to the public until they are engaged or married in the near future. He is being treated disgustingly by people. Bringing up his past bankruptcies and divorces as if every older adult just starting over doesn't have some sh asterisk t unamused face not that I blame her at all. To allay worries of Mary Brown's modest profile, however, another user had the inside scoop. She appears to still be posting for work. They also state that Mary is all right. She has been conducting business on Facebook. She has been conducting business live on Facebook. Additionally, they noted that Jen and her husband's wedding anniversary was the next weekend on the most recent Fridays with Friends Instagram Live. Therefore, considering that Jen would be celebrating her wedding anniversary, I didn't anticipate them doing an Instagram Live. Cody Brown's gift to Mary Brown for her 32nd anniversary? A declaration from her spouse that their union was essentially over. On Sunday's new episode of Sister Wives, Mary and Cody talked about their anniversary and how the evening, which sounded rather brutal, led to a significant realization for Mary regarding their relationship. They got married in 1990 but separated in 2014 to allow Cody to wed Robin lawfully. Even though they were still legally wed, their relationship had been less intimate in recent years. This was exacerbated in 2015 when Mary acknowledged that she had been having an affair with a woman after falling for a man online. Since then, her marriage to Cody has largely remained platonic. Mary added in the new hour that she had thought it was more obligatory than something he wanted to do when they had gone out on their anniversary in the previous few years. She claimed that this year, he didn't make any effort to get in touch on their day, so she gave him a call. Oh, happy anniversary, he responded, sounding astonished. He said he was minding the kids and would have to check with Robin when she proposed they go out to supper. The two did go to dinner, but he acknowledged in a confessional that I need a minute to think, I needed a reason to be able to say no in the event I just didn't think it was the right thing for me to do. He mentioned something about fabricating relationships at one time. What do you mean faking? I asked. He kind of pointed between the two of us like, well, this, Mary said. What do you mean, I'm not faking anything, I replied. I reply, because it's our anniversary, and he goes, I don't know why you even bothered to call and say good anniversary, Mary. But we're not married, he said, pausing briefly before continuing, but we're not living as a married couple. Well, we're not married, Mary thought he stopped himself from actually saying. She described it as a big realization that for all these years, that's how he's felt about it. However, I was unaware of that, she continued by saying he said to her, Mary, don't you realize that this will never happen? She said that the remark was very painful to me and that it made her heart race since she felt he had promised to be there for her forever. Your life is not one I want to insert myself into, she said. He truly told me, Mary, I don't want to be in a relationship with you. She went on, this is the first time he's ever said this to me. As in, our union is over. We will never get married, but you are welcome to stay and visit Robin, the kids, and myself whenever you would like. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.